welcome back to my channel today's DIY tutorial is on how to make this ankle bow which I really love um, as you can see this is what the shoes actually look like but I found myself um, obsessing over shoes with massive bows so I decided instead of getting a whole new pair of shoes why don't I just make a bow for my shoes that I could wear with so many other shoes as well so that is what this tutorial is about and I'm gonna stop rambling and let's go and start making it so the first thing you will need is some felt um, fabric or any fabric of your choice. I use felt because it's quite sturdy. And then you would also need some um, pins, some rivets if you want to um, embellish your bow. You need some scissors obviously, you would also need some fastening. You can also use velcro but these are the ones I had so I used these anyway. Then the last thing you also want to get is some needle and tread. And we're all set and ready to start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our fabric, however wide you want your bow to be, that's how you're going to cut it. And then you're going to fold it into two and you're just literally going to cut a quarter of a circle or an oval shape from the top to the bottom like I'm doing in the video. Then you're going to open that shape up and then you're going to fold one end on top of the other end. So you want to make sure that they're not like joining each other but one is on the bottom and then one is on top. Once you've done that, you're going to take your needle and some tread and just literally run it um, in some loose stitches, some really loose stitches from the bottom to the top, just literally taking the needle in and out um, of the fabric from the top to the bottom. And once you're done with that, you're just literally going to pull on the thread and you already have your bow formed. We're like halfway done already then you're just going to tack it in place um, using whatever method you want and um, you can run the thread around it or just stitch it in multiple places and then just cut off the excess thread and that is your bow all formed the next step after this is um, now creating the buckle and the bow for the middle so for the buckle you want a really long strip however wide you want it as well and then for the um, middle part you want it however wide as well but you want a shorter piece then you're just going to wrap that around the middle of the bow if you don't want to add anything like um, the gold stud I had then you can just go ahead and sew that in place but I wanted to add something to the middle of my bow to make it pop out so I decided to add um, a gold rivet to the middle once the middle part is ready to be attached then you're just going to wrap it around your bow like before and literally sew it in place then you're going to take the buckle as well and sew that on top of the back of your bow then when that is done now you need to um, cut the buckle and adjust it to your feet and this is just I was just so lazy to use a tape measure to do that so I just literally put the bow on my ankle and measured how I wanted it to be where it's gonna start and stop then you're going to take your fastening and make sure that um, when you attach your fastening you actually attach it in such a way that when you put um, both ends of the buckle together it would actually shut together and you can make a mistake sometimes and put them on both sides and then it just doesn't work but just be careful about that and once you're done um, you have your bow all ready so this is what the finished product looks like and I was really 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 loving this bow and um, you're just going to repeat the steps again and make two for both legs obviously and that's it it's literally done and you're just going to wear it and you have your bow ready to be rocked around the town and um, the great thing about having this in felt is that even if it rains it's going to dry nicely and it's not going to irritate my ankle so yes easy peasy and done and this is me wearing another pair of shoes and you can see it doesn't look bad as well you can it's so flexible you can wear it with anything literally and I really hope you guys do you like this tutorial if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also visit my blog for many 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 more fabulous things and thanks for watching guys bye